In this video, we'll learn how to set up an application in Colony. Applications are defined in dedicated YAML files, which specify the application's details, including supported cloud accounts, definition of the application's virtual machine and image, configurations, and more. The application YAML is cloud agnostic and can include a definition for each cloud provider and Kubernetes cluster, with a Blueprint YAML defining the cloud provider to use. In the application YAML, there are four main sections, source, inputs, configuration, and infrastructure. The source section defines the virtual machine on which the application will be installed. This includes the operating system, either Linux or Windows, and the image to use, along with a username that will be used to access the virtual machine from the sandbox page in Colony. You don't need to specify the password, as Colony will generate it automatically when the environment is being set up. For AWS, you need to define the AMI image and region. You can define multiple AMI images to use, one for each region. The cloud account defined in the Blueprint YAML will determine which AMI image to deploy. For Azure, you can use a public image from the marketplace by specifying its URN, like the one in this YAML. Other options are specifying a custom image or a shared gallery image. For details, please visit the Colony Help article on application YAMLs. And for Kubernetes, you'll need to specify the Docker image and secret if the image resides in a private image repository. The input section is optional and allows you to define the input parameters you will need to use in the application and configuration scripts. You can reference them inside the application YAML in any fields that support inputs. Note the dollar sign at the beginning of the input parameter. You can also pass application inputs as environment variables to the application's configuration scripts, and also pull inputs from the Blueprint YAML into the application. Again, prefixed with a dollar sign. When deploying the application, Colony automatically creates several environment variables that are available for the application scripts. These include the sandbox ID, which is the identifier of the sandbox as displayed in the sandbox URL. Colony instance ID is the identifier of the application's virtual machine. And artifacts path is the path to the folder on the virtual machine containing the application scripts and artifacts. So for example, if you need to pass an artifact to an application's initialization script, reference that input in the script. The configuration section is where you define the configurations that will run as part of the environment setup. The configurations are defined in dedicated bash or PowerShell scripts. Colony applications support three configurations, initialization, start, and health check. Initialization configures the application. This includes installing dependencies, downloading packages, and performing any other actions that are needed to run the application. Start turns on the application. For the start action, you can reference a script or specify a command to run on the virtual machine. Health check is the only mandatory configuration and it runs when the application is starting up. The out-of-the-box version of the script checks the general health of the application. In other words, whether the application's internal ports, which are declared in the application YAML, are working. But you can customize a script to perform actions that apply to your application and use case. For example, this health check script should return a message similar to connected to and the host name. It will return zero to indicate successful deployment, while any other value would signal deployment failure. The infrastructure section defines the cloud infrastructure on which the application will run. Here you can define the size of the application's virtual machine, internal ports that should be opened on the application, and the ingress health check. The compute part of the section defines the size of the virtual machine, or Docker container for Kubernetes. Colony has a defined default size for each supported cloud provider, and will use that default if the compute is not specified in the application YAML. As a reminder, it is possible to deploy several virtual machines for a single application. The number of virtual machines is defined in the Blueprint YAML's application section. Regarding port configurations, the best practice is to define the internal ports in the application YAML, 
and the external ports in the Blueprint YAML. Traffic from the internet runs through the external ports and is redirected to the appropriate internal ports according to the listeners defined for this application in the Blueprint YAML. For details, see the Blueprint YAML video on port configurations. The Ingress Health Check verifies that the application is accessible through the environment's external ports. Colony uses the environment's load balancer to run the Ingress Health Check. Ingress Health Check is provided out of the box, but you can customize its settings in the application YAML. Here are the default settings. The Debugging section is where you enable connections to the virtual machine on which the application is installed. This option is useful for troubleshooting purposes. Configuring this option is done in the Blueprint and Application YAMLs. The Blueprint YAML defines the connection method to use, and the Application YAML is where you define the connection protocol. There are two methods for creating connections, Bastion and Direct Access. Bastion is a component that is deployed in the sandbox environment and provides a more secure connection, but it also incurs a cost as it is deployed on a dedicated virtual machine. In the Direct Access method, the application's virtual machine receives a public IP if the environment is internet-facing, and a private IP if the environment is internal. So if the environment is internet-facing, the virtual machine will be open to the internet over the appropriate port, which is 22 for SSH and 3389 for remote desktop. And if the environment is internal, the virtual machine will use a private IP and allow access from the local network. From the user's perspective, Bastion is also easier to use. With Bastion, you click a button and get the SSH or remote desktop client inside your browser. While to access the virtual machine with the direct access method, you need to run the session using an SSH or RDP client from either command line or the UI. Let's start with Bastion. In the Blueprint YAML, use Enabled On to deploy Bastion and leave it running, or Enabled Off to deploy the Bastion component and then turn it off to cut costs. And in the application YAML, set the connection protocol. Options are RDP, SSH, or both. To use a direct access method, enable the method in the Blueprint YAML. And in the application YAML, set allow direct access to true. Note that you can have both Bastion and direct access defined in the environment where some applications allow direct access and others are accessed using Bastion. This concludes the video on application YAMLs in Colony.